it just came to me that I'm going to be a sack of potatoes in her arm and we'll see what she did. And then what does she do? Survival instinct uses me as a, a sandbag to protect herself from stray bullets. It's what any good woman would do. And welcome back to another episode of Happy Hour. I am thrilled, and you might recognize my guest uh, as Lou Temple, AKA Axel, RIP Axel. I'd like to give Axel his props. It's a tough show to last on. It really I, is, but you did. I feel very comfortable that I made my mark on, on The Walking Dead and its audience, and I'm, I'm happy for what we did with Axel, for sure. In honor of having such a special guest, I thought it only right to have a really special drink. I'm excited. Me too. It's called Greener Pastures, inspired by Tanqueray Gin. On to Greener Pastures. On to Axel. Greener Pastures. Come pay. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. it's lovely. I really wanted to call to arms the refreshing, the green. There's treks in the woods, and I felt like that was calling upon the cucumber and the little zing for the twists and turns in the basement. And overall, a brighter look to the future and Alexandria and what's to come for everyone. Can I just check? Sure. Let me see. I will too. Yeah, it's all there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of secrets, right? A lot of secrets and lies. I mean, I really respect and enjoy what you brought to the show. And, you know, I had heard somewhere that uh, there were some people, <laughs> Rick, who was kind of uh, campaigning for your character, Axel, to remain on the show. He was so great. Andrew Lincoln did go to the producers in the writer's room and, and defend Axel and by proxy, Lou Temple. Yeah. Uh, the problem was that at that time, the governor was showing up. Yeah. They had painted themselves into a corner where they needed the governor to draw blood. There was a lot of conversation about some serious regulars, actually, yeah. to draw the short straw. But in the end, it, it, it was Axel, unfortunately. And, you know, at first what you do is you, uh, you do the denial dance. You kind of come up with this other alternative ending, like, oh no, let's let's kill so and so. He's a real jerk. And then you realize now it's going to happen, and you you start to embrace it. You want to do a good job for your your character. And I wanted, as much as anything, to honor Axel's departure, which I thought we did amazing. Yes. And, um, if you could come back as any other character, who would that be, and why? Are we talking about the whole legacy or are we talking about now? Let's talk about the whole legacy because I think that's a fun uh, wide gamut yeah. to choose from. I used to say Judith because everybody carried her and she didn't have to do very much. But <laughs> now all of a sudden, you know, with this time jump, she's out and there she's, on her own. She's and, doing some great things. Yeah, I mean. and she's got a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much into that responsibility. She's stuff. great with a gun. She's way better than I was, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. I, I love the governor. Interesting. I, I love the governor. The hand that brings you down is I know. the one that... I, right. I love the whole ethos, pathos of his character, the idea yeah. that he's trying to keep his daughter in place. I mean, in the compendium, Rise of the Governor, this guy is very complicated. I also yes. thought that in, in the show, he was trying to give the keys to the city away quite a bit mm -hmm. to Andrea. And I wanted Andrea to Cleopatra. I wanted her to take those keys, which she didn't seem to. Right. Where'd that get her? Dead. Dead. Uh, take the keys to the city, y'all. Yeah. If they present themselves, rise up. Seize the moment. Seize your moment. Which I'm. I think we can all doing do that. With greener pastures. Every time you greener pasture, I'm in a greener pasture too. Lindsay, can I spin that and ask you a character? Sure. I. I mean, I love that this is this is great. I think he's maybe vying for my job, but I love no, it. No, sure, no, Sure, come no. in. I'm interested. No, it's great. In, yeah. In, and but I will put a disclaimer on it, and I'll, I'll ask you to be in the, in the here and now. So let's start from season. Eight forward. Lydia is blowing my mind right now. I think that the acting and the twists of her character and the depth of what of what she's bringing to the table is incredibly fascinating. And I would love to see where she goes. I also love the Alpha, oh Lydia's my. mom. I mean, oh, she on. is such a strong, diverse interesting character with so many choices. That's like, what I mean. To me, this whole episode's about that character. This but is, both, but Lydia also, yeah. I think that's what's so interesting. It's like a nurture versus nature. Right. It gets so crazy. They have come back so hard after this mid-season break. It's, it's like you're like, you're holding on. After nine seasons, to me, The Walking Dead's never been fresher. You really just 
wrapped it all up beautifully. Uh, can we just keep him here for all of the other episodes? Great. Okay, so Lou and I are going to continue I'll doing the, the show. I'll be the guy in the back. Tank. That's great. Uh, you could be in the pool. Yeah. Hey, guys. If people want to find you on the World Wide Web, where can they find you? I'm on Twitter, Lou Temple Actor. That seemed very authentic. Cheers to Lou, Tanqueray, and to all of you. Come back next week, uh, comment below, and let us know what you think. Have a great week. Bye.